first I'm just gonna fill in and shape my eyebrows. I just started with brushing my eyebrows up and out with this spoolie to get an idea of what I need to fill. After this, I'm going to begin drawing an outline of the shape I want. I like using the bottom beginning of the eyebrow to start with and building off of that. I'm going to define and later fill in my arch as my eyebrows themselves are fairly straight. Now I'm going to begin filling in my eyebrows, only solidly coloring the outer half, stopping right before the arch. You're going to run your spoolie through the end to evenly spread product, and then just move inward, brushing product through the rest of the brow. I'm going to take some concealer and carve out my ideal shape, getting rid of any smudges or uneven lines I don't want around my eyebrows. You really just have to experiment and find what's best for your face. Using the Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics, you're going to use the lightest matte blue and apply it to and above your crease. You really want to make sure that this color is opaque and pigmented as it's your base color. You want to spend a while blending as it should fade out before you reach your brow. You really just have to spend time doing this and practicing. Blending is very important. Like, I can't stress this enough. It is so important and a lot of people don't do it correctly. Now you're going to use the medium blue and take a smaller brush and apply it to the crease. After packing pigment on, take a blending brush and blend upwards, creating an ombre effect into the lighter blue. Oh my See, God. he'll do that, and it's for no reason. Taking your small brush again, take the dark blue and apply it to the outer corner of your eye. What you want to do here is create a shadow effect, making the corners of your eyes seem smaller. As you blend it, you can take some of the product into the crease, creating more depth. We're going to take our concealer and make a mark on your inner lip. You're going to open your eyes, look straight, look around, look up a little bit. This is just to get an idea of where the eyeshadow will transfer during the day. Using this method, this will transfer the concealer on our lid to our crease and show how high we need to cut our crease. Using another clean brush of your finger, you want to lightly blend the eyeshadow with the concealer, creating a smooth transition. Dip into the lightest green and apply it on the inner cut crease. Really pack it on, otherwise you won't get the color you're going for. Switch to a medium green and put it in place next to the light green, slowly blending it with the small brush. Continue doing this with a dark green until blending the blue and green together with the teal. Taking a little bit of a darker blue, I'm using the one from Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette, pat a tiny bit on the outer corners of your eyes and blend it. Personally, I like cleaning up the sides of my eyeshadow, sharpening them. It can act as a guideline for when you'll apply eyeliner later. After that, I use whatever blue pigment left on my brush, or mix some blues together until I'm happy with the color, and apply it under my waterline, and blending it up into the corner of my eye. 
starting with one with my eye, I'm going to sweep my brush up towards the tip of my eyebrow, creating my bottom line. I like my eyeliner to be straight when I open my eyes, which is difficult to do with hooded eyes. Then I'll make the top line of the triangle, and this comes with practice, but depending on what shape you're going for, you want to experiment. When I open my eyes, I like my lash line to match up with the top of my line. Due to the fact that my eyes are hooded, I make the top line curve, so the liner on my lid and the liner above the crease will match up. Then I add whatever details I want, whether that's little dots or spikes like I have here. I applied eyelashes off screen, but here I'll just prep my lashes by curling them and swiping on a little mascara so they blend in with the falsies. I'm going to apply this highlighter by Vanessa Vanity. I'll just swipe it on highlighting my cheekbones and sometimes on the top of my eyebrow. And then to add glitter to the glow, I'm going to apply this Kat Von D's limited edition metal crush on top sparingly. Then I'll highlight under my eyebrow and to the inner corner of my eyes to brighten them and add sparkle to my eyelid.